Hello YouTube, we love us coming back. Crazy fucking videos. As for the title page, 83rd Academy Award predictions. Yes, I'm doing the 83rd Academy Award predictions video here. Really, sh not going to be too long. Just going down through each, you know, nominees, each category, and telling you my predictions. Not how I want it to go down, but how I think, because it's pretty obvious. So let's get here. Best Motion Picture of the Year nominees. I think either Black Swan or Social, Social Network will get it. Maybe Social Network will get it. I want Toy Story 3 or Inception, but we'll see. Best performance by an actor in a leading role. Maybe Jeff Bridge, Bridges for True Grit or Colin Firth like, uh, for King's Speech. Um, never seen both any movies. Don't like Westerns and don't care for King's Speech, but Colin Firth is a pretty good actor. A lot of charisma. Could have been Bond. I I would love him to, to for yeah. I would have loved for him to be Bond. It would have been great. Uh, I think he's British. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, either Jeff Bridges or Colin Firth for best performance by an actor in a leading role. Um, best performance by an actor actress in a leading role. Eh, Natalie Portman for the Black Swan. Never seen Black Swan. Heard a lot of good stuff about it though. Gotta see. I gotta wait for the Blu-ray though. Uh, but yeah, Natalie Portman. I think. Uh, best performance by an actor in a supporting role. Christian Bale for The Fighter, I think. I think, he, I think he might. I don't know if you guys can read any of this, but it's all good, though. I'm reading it for you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Christian Bale for The Fighter, so. Or Jeffrey Rush, maybe, but I think Christian Bale for supporting role. Uh, best performance by an actress in a support, in supporting role. Mm. Helena Carter, I think. I can't pronounce her middle name, though. But I think that's Tim Burton's wife, I think. I don't know. But, yeah, Helena Carter for King's Speech. I think she might. I don't know. I think she won another award. I don't know what it was. Maybe maybe the Golden Globes, I think. Uh, best Achievement in Directing. <laughs> I don't know why Christopher Nolan's not on there. Deception. I don't know. That's a whole other rant. But anyways, uh, Best Achievement in Directing for the, out of these. Maybe David Fincher for Social Network, even though I have a lot of... Uh, I don't know. I, I even though I love David Fincher, he's a great director, but I don't know. I haven't seen Social Social Network yet, but I, don't know. I just don't know why Christopher Nolan's not up for best director, even though Inception's up for best movie of the year too. So doesn't make any sense. Uh, best writing screenplay written directly for the screen. I want Inception to win, but I think King's Speech might win. We'll see about that. But maybe an Inception might win, so I'm not being biased any of this video, so try not to be <laughs> for any movies I love. Especially Toy Story 3 or Inception, That's those are the ones that I only, I only care for. But, we'll see. Uh, best writing screenplay based on material previously produced or published. And uh, Maybe Social Network or Toy Story 3. I think so. Great script for Toy Story 3. Great, great written. Great, uh... It was an awesome movie. I mean, uh, I don't know. I, mean, I, I, mean, I think Social Network will get get that. These are small nominees right here. I mean, these are not really important. These are not really the most important ones of all these. I wanted to uh, just touch upon the, you know, best movie of the year, best score, the ones that matter, but whatever. Best animated feature film of the year? What do you think? What do you, I mean, what do you think? Toy Story 3, duh. I mean, best foreign film of the year? I can't say. Um, best achievement in cinematography. Eh, I think Black Swan might get it or Social Network. Glad Inception's on there though. Uh, I'm, I think Social Network will get that. We'll see. Best achievement in editing. Hmm. Maybe Black Swan. I think so. For that one. Uh, best achievement in art direction. Hmm. Wow. Uh, I haven't seen it. I heard a lot of bad stuff about it, but Alice in Wonderland may, might get it. Tim Burton directed it. He's one of my favorite directors of all time. Our favorite living directors now, but maybe Inception will get it. I think Alice in Wonderland might get it. I don't know. Christopher Nolan has a lot of great art direction in his films, so uh, best achievement in costume design. Who knows? That's not like I see. Like I said before, these are not like some of these categories are not really important, but costume design. Eh. Maybe Alice in Wonderland. Maybe. Or True Grit. But even though it's a remake of a John Wayne movie, I'm not a big fan of Westerns, so... Best Achievement in Makeup. 
<laughs> Wolfman. Probably Wolfman. It's Rick Baker. Come on. For those that are not into horror movies, Rick Baker is one of the best special makeup uh, makeup effects guys in the business today. Uh, next category, best achievement in music written for, for motion pictures. Oh, original score, okay. Uh, Hans Zimmer, duh. But how, who do I think will get it? Eh, I think Inception might get it. No, I think Social Network will probably get it. God. Many people that have seen the movie Social Network said it was just background noise, nothing special. But we'll see. Um, best achievement in music written for motion pictures, original, oh, original song. Hmm. Randy Newman gets it a lot. Gets a lot of awards for his songs and movies. He might. Haven't seen Tangled yet. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe Toy Story three. Best achievement in sound mixing. We'll get that. I don't know. Maybe Inception. A lot of good sound sound design in that movie. Really, really good sound design. <laughs> Not just in the music, but just everything. Best achievement in sound editing. Uh, like these are just small. I mean, ones that don't, don't matter. I don't know. Maybe Inception or Toy Story Three. Maybe Tron Legacy. I haven't seen that yet though. Um, best achievement in visual effects. Inception because Christopher Nolan barely uses any CGI in his movies, and when it do when he does, it's pretty damn good. Maybe Iron Man Two. I'm, I'm surprised that's even nominated. Iron Man Two. That's crazy. Best documentary, eh, can't say, I don't know, I haven't seen any of them. Best documentary, short subjects, don't care. Best short film, day and night, come on, it's Pixar, plus it was a really creative short film. It played along with Toy Story 3 if you haven't seen it yet, but it's on the DVD and Blu-ray, I think, but I saw it in the theater. Uh, last and uh, last nominee here, best short film, live action, I can't say, but... Um, those are my predictions for the 83rd Academy Awards. We'll see if I'm right. Comment down below who you think is going to win for best movie. I mean, best movie of the year is probably the most important one. The score, the best perform performance by actor and actress by leading role, all that stuff. So, And, and supporting role are pretty important. Uh, directing, duh. <laughs> Screenplay is pretty important, but we'll see. So take it easy, guys, and peace.